Groundwater is water that flows under the surface of the earth. When rainwater and snowmelt seep into the ground, some of the water helps plants grow, some evaporates, and some makes its way further underground. It fills up open spaces in the soil and cracks and pours in the underground rock, becoming groundwater. The upper surface of groundwater is called the water table. It's measured by its depth from the earth's surface. In northern Alberta, the water table changes through the seasons and is lower in the late fall to midwinter, but higher in late spring and summer after the snow has melted and seeped into the ground. Groundwater flows a lot slower than streams and rivers on the Earth's surface. It can flow as slowly as one meter a year, or less. Eventually, groundwater can find its way back to the Earth's surface. Groundwater can flow into low areas on the surface where there may be a wetland, a lake, or a stream. Groundwater can feed streams and support aquatic habitat areas, and is an important part of our natural environment. In addition to its ecological value, groundwater is needed for many human activities. It is pumped from wells to be used in the home as drinking water, and for non-drinking uses like cleaning. It is also used to water crops on farmland, and used by industries in many different ways. In the Athabasca oil sands region, in northern Alberta, one of the important uses for water is in industrial oil sands operations. The oil sands are an underground layer of nearly solid crude oil called bitumen that is mixed up with sand, silt, clay, and water. The oil sands provide a source of oil that is extracted by either mining or through in situ operations, depending on the depth. Water is used in these operations to help separate the bitumen from the sand, silt, and clay. Mining requires on average 3.1 barrels of fresh water to produce one barrel of oil. Sources of this water include the Athabasca River, rain and snow that is captured in the mine area, and groundwater that is pumped to prevent the mines from filling with water. In situ operations, use on average 0.4 barrels of water to produce one barrel of oil. About 95% of water used in in situ operations is recycled water. Saline groundwater is used instead of fresh water in some in situ operations. If human activities are not well managed, or if an incident occurs, Groundwater can be polluted. Communities that depend on groundwater as a source of drinking water, or depend on the plants and animals that live in aquatic areas, may be affected by such changes to the groundwater. If too much groundwater is extracted, or if water is prevented from entering the ground to become groundwater, the water table can be lowered so much that it affects the levels of streams and lakes. This can then have an effect on the plants, fish, and other animals that live in these areas. To make sure that a sustainable supply of groundwater remains available for the natural environment and for human uses, the Alberta Water Act requires that a license be issued before fresh groundwater is used. The license limits the amount of fresh groundwater that can be pumped for use in oil sands operations and for all other non-household uses. Ultimately, monitoring is needed to understand and protect our groundwater resources. Groundwater monitoring is the ongoing process of taking groundwater measurements and samples, and recording the information to see if changes are occurring. This information can help to identify possible concerns about groundwater health or supply, and informs decisions about how groundwater should be used, protected, and managed for the long term. The health and supply of groundwater in the Athabasca oil sands region is being monitored by the oil sands industry and by the Government of Alberta. Thank you.